What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, bringing you at the end of our war versus Red Horse Colt 4 to 5. Uh, clan level uh, 8 against us. We're still clan level 6, but we're getting closer to that uh, level 7. Uh, pretty sound victory, 104 to 78. Uh, we used almost all of our attacks. They used quite a bit of their attacks too. A lot of Go Wipe and uh, La Loon, uh, or Drag, I'm sorry, not La Loon, Drag Loon. Um, you know, they, they, they were actually pretty decent Go Wipers, uh, you know, but two stars that's, you know, that they, they, they could, uh, three star, one out of every three attacks, I think is what it pretty much boiled down to. Um, but uh, we are one short of the perfect war. Uh, you can see that they, you know, two starred most of our bases, three starred a couple of them. Um, you know, using, uh, either, uh, sometimes I think they use a little Go-Ho or something like that, but mostly Go-Wipe and, and Dragloon. So we, uh, got almost perfect war except for number three, which we'll show in just a little bit. Uh, I don't know why we struggle with some of the lower Town Hall 9s and we still, we can three-star the number one. Um, but, uh, yeah, good job to WHF Rising. Uh, not a, not an arranged war, but, uh, still good nonetheless. A lot of internet bases, a lot of cool, um attacks to show starting with my favorite one um you know dankers coming in at number 14 and you know just just to understand what we're dealing with here he just i think just got level five queens so that's you know we're talking very low royals here just got the the, the queen's ability um look at the valkyries level two it's going to bring eight valkyries there but they're just level two and if you look at this base it is a max, 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 max Town Hall 9 as far as defenses. The walls are still not max, but they are, you know, three wall breakers you need to get into there. So might as well be max walls too. Um, you know, it's, it's a very, very difficult base. Dragonflower, um, you know, it's, it's not a, a simple thing. So he's going to go ahead. He's just a beast attacking. Um, and uh, he's going to grab the lore here with these uh, these hogs that he sends in there. At least they are level five. So it's going to be a dragon and uh, um, two loons, and we're going to go ahead and uh, poison both of them. I think use two poisons. All right, and he's going to come in with a uh, shattered entry here. Um, gets uh, sniped on that minion on to the left, but that's fine. Drops a clan castle golem. And then uh, another golem, I think, will go down in just a second. Oh, no. You know what? Just just one. So we're going to go cold-blooded here. So I'll bring the you know those Valkyries. Uses those wall breakers. Go ahead and open up that uh, first compartment. And, uh, you know, almost gets that funneling done. If you look at it, those couple Valkyries go running off. Um, they're going to be MVPs uh, along with the rest. Rages up that core, drops a jump, get in there. Those Valkyries are on crack, and they will go ahead and knock out that king super quick. The uh, uh, friendly king goes on to the enemy queen and knocks her out. And uh, Valks are just going to go ahead and do some work here. Uh, Drop the heal there to heal the Valkyries up in the core. Now, he's got to take all these hogs and uh, make them go through the core with just one heal. So uh, one... Giant Bomb has been tripped, and, uh, you know, it's a double Giant Bomb set, but only one of them has been tripped, so he's got to watch out for that. Uh, he's, still has four hogs left over, still has not used that heal, finally drops that heal on that double Giant Bomb set, which one of them is actually going to, uh, has already popped. Um, and uh, drops the rest of the hogs in there, so those hogs get healed up pretty well, take out that cannon, and we are in cleanup mode. Those Valkyries were tanking for the hogs the entire time. He uses a counterclockwise surgical deployment for this, and I mean honestly, just just fantastic, just just the right timing gets gets those hogs in as those go that golem just one golem was tanking uh, the Valkyries and uh, you know works its way through the entire base like that. So very 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 nicely done by Danker, man. Nice, he gets a six star war here as well. Number two, go La Loon. It's a shattered entrance by Mr. Automatic. So he's going to bring um, two of his own golems in there. No lure. And uh, he's got to get in here, and he's got to get those two air defenses at the 2 o'clock and the 4 o'clock position. Uh, holds back the king, and I don't know if it's on purpose or if he did it, uh, you know, 
just just forgot to drop the king in there. But that golem's taking a lot of damage. Queen's doing work in there. Um, you know, as soon as she takes care of this dragon, uh, maybe he held it so he could take care of the clan castle. Drops the king in there, takes a jump, and this this king is going to tank for this queen, so she can get in there and uh, you know help out with that air defense. They both take out the air defense in, in a couple shots. And she's going to take the jump and then finally get this uh, air defense right after the Dark Elixir storage. And almost down to the wire. He's already used her ability. That Expo then gets uh, on top of her and she's going to go down. So it's time to go ahead and send these Lava uh, Hounds in here. Only one Rage, but uh, four, no, three um, uh, Hastes to go ahead and speed these things in. Uses that first Haste to get that into that Wizard Tower for all that splash damage, sends the other uh, Lava Hound in there, uses Rage, is a little bit late here on the other deployment of the Lava Hound, should have been deployed already, um, as you'll see, uh, so, well, at least uh, right now, and uh, the, these will these loons will take out that, uh, and uh, they really need to, um, uh, you know, th that Lava Hound pops, and now the uh, air defense is, is shooting some of those uh, loons down, but the other... Uh, Lava Hound gets put in there. Uh, it's tanking for that, and I think it's going to pop just at the right time. Um, not sure uh, which one's going to pop it, but I'm sure it's going to. I think it's the Archer Tower. There we go. Uh, so, you know, great, great job. Pops right at the last defense. That's exactly how you want to have it done. Tons of uh, Lava Pups all around the base. Um, you know, that little goblin is, is doing his work down here and, and really uh, earning, that, uh, earning that living there. Just doing the funky chicken. And, uh, yeah, cleanup mode. So we'll go ahead and speed this thing up and uh, watch the loons and the pups wreck this base. So very, very nice uh, attack by uh, Mr. Automatic. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Let's uh, check out, I'd just like to check out the army composition. Very nicely done. All right, so we'll just take a quick little look at this base. Um, not anything really too special, uh, you know. Anti two, um, you know, common semi dragon flower base. It's uh, I don't know why we we had such a problem with it, but again, uh, you know, I, we were uh, in the lead the entire time with no chance. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is this is one of the wars that we were actually in favor. I think we had two extra or three extra Town Hall 9s, and without them having any Town Hall 11s or 10s, there's no way we're not going to go ahead and win this one. So number four, um, we're going to use Double Poison and a Shattered Entry here. So we'll go ahead and speed things up as uh, Frank goes and gets a six-star war, and this three-star attack grabs the lure um, with his hog. Very, very simple, simple lure. Uses the double poison, take out that dragon, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, drop his own golem and the clan castle golem. Start that uh, shattered entry, start the wizard funnel. Not too much to funnel, pretty easy. Might as well drop that jump. The only thing I don't understand is why the jump was dropped there. Uh, jump should probably have been dropped up to connect the, the queen's compartment as well, or, unless you're not. He could have either dropped the jump a little lower so he didn't use, have to use wall breakers and it would have connected that, or just dropped it between the uh, the other two the other compartment between the queen and the uh, the second compartment so it, it is what it is three stars is what it's about so he got it uh, queen goes down and as soon as that queen enemy queen goes down he can send the hogs in like he's doing and uh, yeah so we are on our way. And uh, he's going using a, a counterclockwise, uh, you know, surgical hog deployment here. Tripping giant bombs, but hogs are standing in heels, so no big deal. Still has one more heal left. And, yeah, it's uh, going to be healed perfectly. I think this was a cleanup attack, um, but, uh, you know, great heals nonetheless. And uh, it only has that one last uh, cannon to do. Uh, goes down Norn clean up lots of cleanup uh, all different sides but good thing is the wizard is uh, um, you know they're cleaning up on the right hand side and the hogs are going to go ahead and meet them up and probably grab a beer or two and talk about uh, you know those giant bombs and those heels that uh, Frank put in there so great uh, great job I think six star war for Frank like I said and a great three star attack
All right, moving on, we'll get a chance to see Danger get a six-star war here with his attack on number uh, five. And he's going to use uh, another cold-blooded uh, entry here. And um, we'll go ahead and grab that lure. Go ahead and anchor down here on the south. And it's just going to be a, a mass hog. So, you know, it's uh, going to go old school with the kill. Save those two poisons. So... Let's drop his uh, Royals in behind that uh, Max Golem. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, time to go ahead and start that funnel. Hogs are going to go ahead and get some cheap defenses here. Drops the jump. Needs to take care of that Queen. Um, the, but King and the Queen will both reroute and smack her down in one or two hits. And just, uh, I mean, uh, I think a terrible double Giant Bomb spot here. There are two Giant Bomb spots, actually. Uh, the Queen will trip one. The King will trip another. And, uh, you know, those, both of those giant bombs, double giant bombs, right next to each other. Um, and, you know, that's going to be the end of this base. He's already starting to send his hogs in for the uh, counterclockwise surgical deployment. Has two more heals left over. Queen trips that last giant bomb. So both double giant bomb sets are tripped. All the hogs have to do is worry about those springs and uh, those point defenses, splash damage and everything else. But he has the two poisons for those skelly traps. And, uh, you know, sends the rest of his hogs in there and they has that last heal to go ahead and heal up in that last area. Don't even know if it was truly, truly necessary, but, uh, you know, better safe than sorry. And they need to push through that expo there, standing in heals, and take out that uh, last cannon and clean up. Uh, both royals are down on, on each side, so it's up to these hogs and wizards to go ahead and do that. And we're all finished up. So, very nice war. Very nice attack by uh, Danker there. Number six. We're going to see number six. And we're going to scout it real quick first. Because look at this. Holes in the base. Right uh, next to the cannon at 9 o'clock. And right next to the archer tower at 3 o'clock. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and watch potato chips. Use a La Loon here. And take advantage of that. Drops the easy barb to get that... Uh, um, that lore and trigger the giant bomb, which is not really necessary since we're doing a La Loon, but uh, definitely wants the lure. We'll drop a double poison in there and uh, take care of that uh, clan castle. And uh, drop the other giant bomb and rage and jump. And we're going to go ahead and drop the, uh, the cold blooded um, uh, golem and the Valkyries, which will take out that queen, take out that AD in one swipe pretty much. And the other queen's going to finish that Dark Elixir, turn to the Tesla, turn to the uh, air defense, and now we're good to go. Valkyries will still uh, go ahead and do some damage with those Expos, which is always nice to take out an Expo in a La Loon. Um, but I think that's about the most we're going to get out of these uh, this, this kill squad. So it sends two Lava Hounds in there to start tanking for that first the air defense and drops the Loon in the, the hole there to, to take out that uh, cannon real quick. And, uh, you know, the other loons behind to go ahead and start taking out the Teslas and the Wizard Tower drops. The last uh, Lava Hound in from the top. And uh, the loons following up with that. It uses a Rage um, down by the Town Hall. It has that one last Rage. Needs to get that those loons in there. that air defense um, where that last Lava Hound is tanking. And uh, they split. And the air defense goes down, perfect pop. The Lava Hound pops at the last exact second just as the bomb was being dropped on that last air defense. Can't time it any better than that. Tons and tons of Lava Pups. A wizard down on the bottom also helping out with that uh, cleanup. And uh, good split on loons. Queen is still up. And uh, yeah, we're working our way around. So very, very nice cleanup. Very nice tack. Uh, way to go, man. Just, just nice La Loon. Uh, since we like La Loon, I love La Loon. I think it's just a super OP. Well, what Zito do a La Loon? He's going to use. It's not Penta, I don't think. Um, no, it's it's going to be a cold blooded. Uh, the Golem sent in there. Wizards the funnel. Wall breakers to get into this uh, compartment. And again, he needs to take care of this one air defense since he's bringing four uh, lava hounds in here to start uh, taking care of this base. 
Rage is up a little bit early, but uh, he wants to get that queen in there. Doesn't have, didn't have to use her ability. Did not have his barbarian king. I think king is going to sleep, but really needs to take out that air defense. Um, drops the poison down on that clan castle. There we go. Gets that air defense down. Uh, those uh, those clan castles are distracted on the golem, which is perfect. Allows that queen to get in there. She will go ahead and uh, use her ability to take care of that other enemy queen. And as soon as that queen goes down, we can start our hound deployment. So two hounds go in, has three rages and a haste. So it's going to be no problem to get these balloons in towards that AD and that core. Sends the other lava hound in there from the uh, 6 o'clock and the balloons right behind it. First air defense goes down, or should I say second. Um, the loons are making their way into that, rages up in that core. Uh, the sec third air defense goes down and the other lava hound was sent in. Very nice deployment of loons and, and timing. Um, you know, the, the loons are sent right in after those hogs, uh, after those hounds. So it's very, very nicely done. Enjoyed that. Um, I think this hound pops almost just in time too. So very nice. I mean, we're getting very, very good with our la, our la loon deployments. I mean, they're, we're getting exactly what we want. Look how many lava pups are out there. Just, just a very, very nice attack. Um, you know, you want your lava hounds to pop exactly as that last defense goes down or second to last, whatever. Just, I mean, that, that's exactly what it is while the loons take them out. So great attack by Zito. I think Zito got a six star war here. Um, let's see. He, the Frank got a six star war. Uh, let's go ahead and check out number nine real quick just because. Um, you know, it's such a terrible base, but take a look at his, his uh, composition, or at least, you know, his royals. He's got a level four queen. So again, she doesn't even have her ability yet. And this queen, going to give you a spoiler, is going to make it through the entire raid. Um, so or the entire attack. So uses double poison. I'm going to speed through this. The base, his attack was very good. The base just happened, does not happen to be very good. Um, a couple of expos, low level expos. Uses Shattered in there, and then there's a very nice surgical deployment of the hound of the uh, Hog Riders all around the base. I think brings four heals, uh, trips a double giant bomb one at a time, very nice. And uh, yeah, it's, it still has one more heal left over. But that queen d d doesn't have an ability, so can't even use it, but uh, is still doing, doing work there. Um, shooting through walls, took out the, the, the town hall, shooting through more walls, and will make it through the entire raid. So... Very nice. Uh, let's get that queen up to level five. That's uh, that's that's where the magic starts happening. Um, let's check out number ten. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a goho stone uh, ebon with a very nice attack here. And uh, this is where we're starting to get into the lower walls. Um, uh, the defenses are town hall eight the max. Um, so you know, in a couple town hall nine defenses max with those mortars uh, up top. So he, this, this guy, Ken Lon, decided to do his, his mortars first, which is kind of weird. But does have a couple of expos, one max expo, and one, I think, level two. Using a double poison here, we'll speed this thing up. And I think we're going to use a stoned entrance here, because that's e uh calling card. Loves that stone entrance. And uh, drops the two golems in so far. Lot wide, wide funnel. Has a, a couple wall breakers, I think three wall breakers in there. They'll go ahead and take out that uh, point right there, and all the golems will reroute. Well, one of them will reroute, and the other one will be dropped in from behind. Drops the king. Uh, I think uh, we still have... Oh, we don't... So this one, we don't have a queen. So we just watched, uh, um, I think, Zito do the raid without a king, and now we're going to watch uh, Ebal and do it without a queen. So very, very nice. So what do we do when we have our royals sleeping? We three-star the base. That's what we do. So the um, you know hogs are being deployed in there from the uh, the I think clockwise position, and uh, has two more heals left over. Golem still tanking in the in the uh, um, the core there with the, for the expo while well, those hogs are completely beaten on it, and uh, uses that second heal in there and uh, drops some more hogs. Still has three more left over, and uh, needs to trigger that giant bomb if there is one there. They are standing in heals, so um, you go ahead and drop that last heal and throw those last little bit of hogs in there. Golem's still tanking for that archer tower up top and that expo. Hogs will go ahead and knock that those defenses out and then turn to the archer tower. And now it is time for cleanup. 
So very nice. Look how some golemites running around, wizards. Uh, the hogs will go ahead and uh, meet up with them and uh, get the three stars. So very nicely done. It's not uh, as easy as it seems without the queen to help you out. Very nice. And uh, just a couple more. Let's check out Sen doing a go vaho. I don't think, uh, well, I want to show this because this is a very common in our base. I, I'm pretty sure we, I, I went against this. Oh, I know. I went against this when we were doing the arranged war in, my, in, in another. Okay. So this is, a, I don't know what this base is called. I'm sure somebody will tell me what the name is. Um, but it is a common internet base with those four Teslas in the core and those little spots there. Use a double poison to uh, kill this dragon. And he's going to bring in a shattered entry on the south side. And uh, one, one of his own, one of the golem, bring those uh, Valkyries. And uh, they're going to make their way into the core. It has a jump and three heals to get into that queen and king. And uh, he uses the wall breakers to get into that first compartment that uh, Tesla will spawn or will pop or whatever you want to call it. And uh, they trigger a giant bomb. Uses that jump. Tesla's up. Queen's getting aggro. King will go in there and knock her out. Uh, and uh, they'll start heading their way into that core. But now with the queen down, it's about time to start to send it in the hogs. And uh, those golems and king won't get too much further in here unless the hogs are sent in. Um, so he's going to use a two-finger drop in from a 9 o'clock position. He has three heals to heal these hogs up there. Uh, still 11 left. So uh, that's half of his hog deployment. And um, they're going to make their way into the core. Drops the other bit of the hogs up in the top at the noon. So those hogs will go ahead and meet up with each other. And go ahead and start taking out defenses. Hog heals up. Perfect heal where all those hogs meet. And uh, they only have that one last uh, corner to go. And they do have a heal which is going to go ahead and cover them all. So he'll go ahead and take out that expo. And then work their way into that last compartment. All uh, The kings are down. Uh, the, the enemy queen is down. But the uh, friendly king is up. Does not have her ability. Uh, but she'll help on cleanup. Those ho tons of hogs there get a nice split. And uh, they'll go ahead and take care of the rest of the base. So very, very nice attack. All right, last attack. I always save mine for last. Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to because I'm sure I'll get up a little higher. Um, just uh, do a Laloon here. So, um, you know, I want to do a queen walk. I love to practice it. It's, it's good stuff. I run into a bunch of problems here. Um, but, uh, you know, the strategy for me was absolutely spot on. The execution was almost spot on except for one problem. Need to funnel these. Drop a giant there to funnel these buildings. and need to push that queen on the east side and have her walk down to the air defense and the uh, enemy queen. So drop the queen there, drop the healers. Everything is going to go well. I brought a hog in there to trigger the clan castle. The only problem is um, they're not going to get everything. I don't understand why they got the loons instead, but, um, you know, it, it is what it is. So she'll make her way down here. We'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Just until she gets down to that archer tower. There we go. I'll send a hog in here to go ahead uh, as she um, starts pounding on the archer tower. The hog will help her out there and make her make its way down to that air defense that at least grabbed the lure. The only problem is, is the queen hits it, Tesla hits it, uh, and the expo, and it only grabs those two loons. Uh, I was almost positive this is a fresh hit, but I was almost positive that it had to drag it to a dragon and two loons. Drop the the. Uh, uh, poison it in there to slow them down considerably. Drop a rage. Uh, those those um, loons will do serious damage to a queen. Uh, and you know what? The, she'll go ahead and standing in rage. The healer standing in rage. Knock out that queen super super fast. And uh, I think I have to use the ability here as well. Now I don't even have to use the ability. So that's fine. Everything's cool. Uh, the only problem is right now I, I'm stuck because I don't have uh, you know anything to do with this clan castle. Probably could have sent in maybe one loon um, and grabbed that again, but uh, yeah. So that 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 dragon will go ahead and start doing some damage on my lava hounds and my loons. Uh, do have three rages though, so you know I, I I'm able to back it up a little bit. Uh, this would have gone so much smoother if I did not have that dragon. The queen will take out this Tesla, start working on the expo, and then she'll make her way down, and uh, she'll knock out that uh, um, that dragon. 
So both Lava Hounds have popped. Still have one more that I'm going to deploy as soon as these loons get closer. There we go. And uh, the, that Lava Hound will go ahead and tank that air defense and grab all those traps. Dragon finally goes down from my queen as I had to use my ability. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's not too much of a problem. Take out that last air defense. And uh, these loons just have to make it all the way up to the uh, those last three defenses. Do have an extra rage, so held on to that, which actually works out for me. I needed to rage need to rage it up right now because that wizard tower will chew through those loons uh, if if it's not under rage. So uh, they take out that uh, archer tower and just barely squeak by. I think right on life support and take out that wizard tower. So got some minions, the wizards. Uh, got my uh, my uh, royals cleaning up from the bottom up. Some lava pups helping out there. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get that three star. It was a little sloppy. Uh, again, it, for me, it was sloppy just because of the clan castle. Um, you know, wanted to gra grab that uh, balloon and or those loons and that dragon, uh, but uh, wasn't able to do so. But it still was a fun attack for me. I love the queen walk. Queen will be put to sleep very, very soon uh, and wake up as a fresh new butterfly at level 10. So, uh, you know, great uh, attacks by the guys from WHF Rising. Uh, really, I mean, really cool inventive attacks, really cool um, deployments and execution of it. Uh, it was really happy with our performance. I think we're starting to come together. You know, those those couple of losses really kind of woke us up, showed where we needed to work and, uh, you know, and, and get us motivated, which is always a good thing. Um, so, you know, one short of a perfect war. Go ahead and take these uh, army compositions, get your six star wars. Practice your three-star attacks and uh, go ahead and get it in. And we'll look forward to the Town Hall 8 videos on these too as there were some really good attacks.